Okay guys, I just made my first video. I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of a mess, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Okay guys, I'm headed to Target. I'm going to try to pick up a few pieces from the Jelly Pop collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics and maybe a toner from the Supers collection. I'm really excited about that one. Um, so, go out in the god-awful heat. This is me and this is my dog. Mm-hmm. She's not having it either. So, run over there. Sorry, I don't know what and check everything out. Okay, Target was a bust. They didn't have the new line, which I totally thought they would, but they didn't. But knowing me going to Target, I can always pick up some stuff. So I picked up the Burke Bees facial oil, got it in the bargain bin, always a good find, some wipes, and a couple of masks because I'm addicted to masks. So now I guess I'm going to Ulta to see if they have any of the new line. So I'll try that. And then I will let you know. Right now, I'm not having high hopes of it. And my dog is driving me crazy. Absolutely insane. Okay, yes, we had success at Ulta. Yes. Okay, they had the toner, the super tone. This little guy right here. It smells like lemonade. It smells so good. It smells really fresh. I really, really am super excited about it. Um, it says it's a superhero alpha hydroxy form from fruit acids. It brightens complexion, provides gentle chemical exfoliation. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this is a dupe for the Ole Herskin that's $28. This was eight bucks. So I'm hoping after, I'm going to use it for 30 days and then see if it like helps reduce any of my aging spots or any, anything going on with my face. Um, the other thing I bought was this little guy, if you can see it, Super Clarify. Now this says it's a cleanser with clarifying, if I can pronounce this right, niacinamide. And niacinamide is B3, it's really good for your skin. And this says it maintains moisture content, it tones and clarifies, and it smells. It smells like, I'm not going to lie, it smells like suntan lotion. I, I love the smell of suntan lotion, but it's so weird. Yeah, it smells like suntan lotion. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I really like that smell. It's a kind of, uh, I don't know what the consistency, consistency is, but I'm also going to use this for 30 days um, and see how it works. And the cap does not want to go back on this. But... I'm actually going to do this right now because I want to see how it works and I'm going to use it and then I will come back. Okay, so I have a different setup now with my camera. If you guys knew everything I went through with this camera in the last hour and a half, it's literally, oh my god, annoying AF. I think I got something I like now, so we're just going to roll with it. Okay, so back to what I was doing in the first place. I washed my face with a cleanser. Um, I like it, but after you wash it, your face is very clean. And when I mean very clean, I mean it's very tight, and I don't think I like that. I will not be using it every day. I'll probably use it every other day. But as far as if it's cleaning your face, yes. Is it overstripping it? Probably. So I wouldn't use it every day. But we're going to go in with the toner now and see how that makes it feel if it feels worse or if it feels better or I just don't know maybe it's gonna make me break out I have very lemony so if you don't like lemonade you're not gonna like this I love lemonade put this in the delicate area but this is like where my worst age spots are is like right in here um, so I'm hoping Let's see nothing on the cotton pad um, I'm hoping that helps it We'll see. I don't know. I really don't have any more <laughs> hope for my skin since I'm so such an old old ass woman. O A W in the house. So we'll try this. See if that makes it feel a little bit smoother, not so tight. Um, other than that, I like them both. But like I said, I probably won't be using the cleanser every day, just for the fact that I feel like it stripped my skin more than I wanted it to. 
The toner is got a little bit of a tingling feel to it, so I know that it does have some fruit acids in it. Um, I can feel it on my face. It doesn't hurt, um, but definitely you can tell it's there. Fancy fan. Whew. Okay, the other thing I picked up at Target is Burt's Bees Facial Oil. Now, I had the Burt's Bees eye patches and I really did like them except for they were not a good eye patch. I liked them for the fact that it had the oil in it. The oil in it was amazing, um, but I hated the paper eye patches. They were garbage. They didn't stay in, but the oil, I literally had to like hold them on my face for like two minutes and then try to keep them to stay there. It was just a pain in the butt, but the oil that was in the paper mask was absolutely amazing. So when I went to Target and I found this, yeah, I don't have to have a damn mask that I could put it under my eyeballs because I have really, really delicate, dry, crappy skin because I'm OAW under my eyes. Now, if I get this. Okay, here we go. Okay. It smells like roses. Just remember if you're going to use this stuff. I am, I tap it underneath here. It is an eye serum, but it's a it's like a not a acid. It's more of a soother. So I put it underneath my eyes and in this area because my eye area is very, very dry and it just sucks it in and I love it. And then I put my makeup on, I put my primer on and then, well, first I put lotion and then primer and then my foundation and my concealer and all that other crap that you put on your face. This literally puts down the barrier and makes it so smooth. So you don't have that, I like to call it orange peel skin and it's not too bumpy. It just makes it really, really nice. It makes it for a really nice foundation. So I'll just tap this in. I'm not going to put anything on today, but I just kind of wanted to use it because it, I really do love it. Um, and it does it does take a minute to set in, but once it does, you're, it's just absolutely so soft. So if you're at Target, I, this was in the, in the um, I can't even talk today. It was in the discount bin. Sorry, I'm getting wipey out. Um, because they have a bigger bottle for 20 bucks, but this was like four dollars, and I think there was it was 25% off, so it ended up being like three dollars and something for. And, and the bottle's tiny, ain't gonna lie, it's this small, but you don't need much. A couple of drops on your fingertips, and you're good. So this little bottle, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm probably gonna go back and get another one, just so I will have it. But I imagine with the the amount that you that you use, it's gonna last quite a while. So, um, and any with any oils, I try to keep them in their little packaging just because it's dark and oils seem to break down when they're in light. So when you have oil and serums and stuff, I always try to keep them in the package that come in that way. Or if they're in a dark bottle, you're even better. But they usually break down if they get to any kind of light. So just remember that when you're, when you're doing oils and serums, that anything that's in them will break down faster when it's reduced to light. So just try to, just try to remember that. Either put them in a cupboard or keep them in the little packaging or try to buy ones that are in a dark dark bottle that even works even better okay so that's kind of it's in I mean I'm not gonna put makeup on but I do like this I like I said I bought the paper mask and I really liked it so I'm super excited when I found it in a little tiny bottle but that was all for my haul today well that's not true I did buy some of these I've never tried these we're gonna try them um, usually I get the elf because they're super cheap but these were like 350 and you get 30 of them I think yeah you get 30 and I like Burt's Bees products so I'm just gonna give them a try I'm sure they'll be fine um, but yeah I usually use elf just because they're cheap and I can get like 50 of them for like four dollars but I'm gonna try the Burt's Bees this week so that's all I had for my haul. I will be going hopefully to Sephora or Ulta, probably actually Ulta this weekend because there's a couple of things. There's some Stila glitter shadows that I really, really want. They're on sale right now. And I need to pick up a couple more highlighters and just some other random shit that I don't need, but I'm going to buy anyway. But I want to thank you for watching my channel. If you like me or you kind of like me, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And every time I upload a video, you'll be able to watch me in all my glory. Later, guys.